Well, welcome back everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about getting my first registration on my ex-military DAF T244 and our exhibition at the Adventure Overland Show in June. Driving along in an army truck in a humperty bumperty army truck The people wave to the soldiers brave who sing and shout as they lurch about Oh we are in luck, we will never be stuck in a humperty bumperty army truck So it's a special day today then, behind me somewhere, there it is, ready for collection, MOT'd, registered, let's go and have a look. everybody well as you can see finally we've managed to get the truck registration it's been uh, it's been quite a journey it took quite a while um, I think most of the problem was we weren't quite sure exactly what we were supposed to do to get an ex-military HGV registered lots of decisions to be made do we register it as a private HGV do we try and register it as um, as, as a different class a vehicle oh lots of lots of questions lots of decisions it's been a while since i spoke to you things have gone really really slow uh, you probably realize that i work in the nhs i've been quite busy during this second spike of the pandemic uh, but it's not just that things have been really really slow because of the lockdown and getting the truck registered uh, but we finally got there and it was a bit of a journey but I'll tell you more about it very, very shortly. But before I do, if I could just ask you to, to subscribe, if you like these kind of videos, please hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out. Uh, and click the bell notification. And that way, uh, if I make another video, you'll, you'll get a notification and, and you know that I do so. So anyway, just before I, I get into this video, I wanted to thank a few people. I wanted to thank you for buying the Follow Me Overland merchandise. Um, it's sold not for profit, don't make any profit out of it, it's sold just to create awareness uh, of Follow Me Overland. So thank you very much to those of you who have bought uh, some of the merch. A uh, big thank you to uh, Darren and Joe, thank you, you look amazing, Joe, absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is Michaela, thank you Michaela. Uh, this is Rebecca too, Bex, I think. Thank you very much Bex for for follow it for for buying the merchandise and Keeley Keeley thank you very much and also Keeley's dog Odie Odie looks fantastic okay 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 we wearing what have you got on we wearing to those of you who, ha who have bought the merchandise uh, I really do appreciate that. It 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 does help, and uh, does help just to promote uh, promote the idea of what I want to do. Anyway, let me tell you more then about what's been happening. So you remember last time? I think I left you saying that the truck was going to be picked up to be MOT'd. So uh, Black Cats came and picked the truck up. I have to say that Black Cats have been amazing. You know, Black Cats don't do these kind of things normally. They don't register ex-military trucks, but uh, the guy who owns it, John, uh, was really kind of interested and uh, showed a lot of interest. One of his 
engineers who works down there is ex-military and used to work on the DAFs. That's that's how I I kind of got involved with them a little bit. And, and they've been really, really good. So it's been a learning curve for them. Um, and I did know that when uh, when I gave Black Cats the task of getting the registration for me, they warned me that they didn't know how to do that, but they would do all the legwork. And they have done. They've come up trumps. Took a while, but they have. So let me tell you what the first thing was that we had to do. We had to replace the front tires. Now, uh, I was a bit sad because I missed the deadline. Uh, there was, uh, it was a little bit of a challenge during the COVID pandemic to get the truck in and get it done uh, before the deadline because there just weren't enough test dates around here. Uh, and I also had to, to book in to have various bits and pieces done. But we got the tires, so I, I, I bought the tires. You'll have seen them uh, in the opening scenes of the video so the next thing that we had to do then is we had to apply for something that people call a z number so the truck doesn't have a registration number obviously so you had to, we had to apply uh, we did that online and we got this z number which is basically a number for the truck and that then allowed us to do official things on the truck uh, and for it to be registered under that number uh, mainly doing the mot so we got that number and then we took the truck for the MOT and I'm pleased to say that the truck passed first time without any problems. Um, I was really, really amazed. I was really surprised to be quite honest with you. I thought they'd find something, but to be honest with you, Black Cat, they'd spent a lot, spent a lot of time. You know, they put the side rails on, um, they'd made sure that the mud guards were legal, they made sure the side guards were legal because there's been some new legislation over the side guards. Um, of course, they, they put the tires on. Uh, we had the issue with the air brakes and the lights. They, they fixed that. They had to repair uh, a foot switch for the lights prior to going to the MOT. They did all that kind of stuff. And um, they also, what was more important, transported the truck to and from the MOT. Now, that to me was, was a really valuable thing because a truck that's not registered, you know, it's just a big lump of steel. It's not allowed anywhere near the road. Uh, so Black Cats did all sort of the transportation and things and, um, and they did it pretty cheap as well. So it went and it came back and got the MOT. So we were, we were really pleased. Um, and then we applied, you have to apply for uh, uh, plating. That's not the registration plate, that's this plate that has to go inside the truck. Uh, and that was done automatically. So when we did the MOT, uh, it's the first MOT, uh, so that was done by, you know, sort of a, a VOSA approved inspector and he sent all the paperwork off to do the plating. So that was really, really good. Um, and the plating, it took about, after doing the MOT, it took about three weeks for the plating to come through. Uh, but at the same time, we applied for the registration as well. And that took about four weeks to come through. And that actually came through this morning. So I got the registration through this morning. Told Black Cats, Black Cats went out, uh, got some registration plates, took them on the truck, and then I went to get some insurance. Um, uh, at the moment, I've just got sort of a standard uh, ex military vehicle insurance, uh, was relatively cheap, you know, less than £150. Limited mileage though, 4,500 miles. Um, but right now, you know, that's absolutely perfect. Uh, and that will do me to do what I need to do. So we are registered. I've passed my test, so I drove it back. So I'm actually fantastic. The first time I've driven it, can't believe how slow it is. Um, but uh, but it was it was easier to drive than I thought, and smoother as well. The wife was petrified. So what next? So the next thing that we need to do um, is we need to get the truck to Jonathan Horton. I'm just talking to Jonathan Horton Engineering at the moment. The problem is we've got, we've got a bit of a timing issue because uh, the truck is going to the Overland Expedition uh, um, in the 5th and the 6th of June. And right now it's, what is it, the 24th, the 25th? It's the 24th, should remember that, it's my mum's birthday. Sorry, mum, it's the 24th of April. And uh, so I don't really have much time. There's kind of about five weeks, six weeks as they before the Overland Adventure Show. And the worry is if I send it to Jonathan Horton Engineering and he only kind of gets halfway through 
doing the critical stuff to get it back on the road because we're going to be looking at the uh, at the chassis length extending the chassis and things like that um then i could miss the show so i'm just waiting to hear back from jonathan horton so the next stage is the truck is either going uh, down to jonathan horton engineering or i'm going to hang on to it at the moment we're going to be adding the radio gear uh, that i need because it's going down to the overland the adventure overland show uh, and we are actually going to be an exhibition vehicle now you probably remember is it uh, june the 6th when we're there that's kind of celebration of d-day so uh, as a celebration the show's having kind of a military theme in part of the show and, and we're going to go to that uh, but we're going to be more than just a military vehicle uh, for those of you who kind of watched the last video looking at expedition radio you know that radio is going to be a, a, a feature when it comes to the uh, the renovation of of this vehicle uh, and i'm a member of ref waddington amateur radio club and the guys from there are coming with me to the overland expedition and we're going to put on a uh, on a show so the truck's going to be kitted out with um, with uh, the expedition aerials which are going to be rotating antennas um, uh, and a few other bits and pieces there's going to be a tent next to the truck uh, where we can show you expedition radio and amateur radio uh, and there'll also be a little morse code um, set there so that kids and such like can actually transmit morse code uh, over the airways over the airwaves to somebody else so the kids can do that so we've we've actually got a call sign that we've applied for a uh, uh, a special event station call sign and that will be gb zero raf so see us there at the overland exhibition uh, the overland or the adventure overland show uh, we'll be there check us out come in and say hello let, let me know that you watch the videos and things like that so i look forward to seeing you come and have a look at the radio gear come and have a little uh, go with the tippy tappy um, at, uh, Morse code key one of the guys one of the senior guys from RAF Wellington Amateur Radio Club uh, he's kind of fluent in Morse code and things that's pretty impressive eh? Um, not something I'm very good at so uh, so that's basically it so hopefully these videos will be a little bit more forthcoming they've been very very slow as I've said I've been busy uh, at work unfortunately working in the in the NHS I, I am a uh, a consultant who works in emergency medicine so uh, kind of been busy during the whole covid -y thing uh, all that's calming down now the truck's now registered trucks back here we're going to be getting some jobs jobs done while it's here getting the aerial sorted out and hopefully getting it down to jonathan horton's if we can't get it down before the adventure overland show uh, we'll be dropping it off on the way home so once again, thank you for watching these videos. It's been great to, to catch up with you again. Don't forget my name's Sean. Please hit the subscribe button. That really helps. So does the, um, the bell icon. The bell icon's probably even more important. That way when I release a video, you can watch it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up helps. It helps the old YouTube algorithm. So do your comments. So please leave a comment down below. Uh, I try to answer most of the comments. Uh, I really do like to read them. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, I'll see you very, very soon in another video. My name's Sean. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.